the Bills are rallying around Sean McDermott's defense. Um, they're rallying around to defend him after uh, the odd 9-11, you know, and a, what is it, antidote came out or whatever. So what, I, I'm still trying to, like, fully understand what McDermott did that caused – like such the the uh the what is it the the ruckus um I'm I'm are you guys like how how into it are you guys like how how much do you guys I'm in, I'm into it one, I'm into it one hundred percent because I live here. Okay, can can you clear so, it up? Like clear this all the way up. So what happened was back in 2019, you know, he was you know in a team meeting, speaking to the team, and he referenced. The uh, the tax of nine eleven for the terrorists, um, you know, being a team, and that's how they orchestrated what happened on nine eleven. And he used that as a motivation to his team to bring I his team closer. Saying. Okay, yeah. And this happened back in two thousand and nineteen. Why it's just surfacing now? We have no idea. Obviously, one of the one of the guys that was on the team back in 2019, 2019 leaked it to somebody else, and now this is the topic of conversation here uh, surrounding Sean McDermott of how you could use one of the most horrific, tragic events in you know modern U.S. day history and correlate it to football, Dang. and he's it's absolutely wrong. But because now you're talking about like three three thousand plus people lost their lives in this event, and everybody remembers exactly where they were on that day, and not only for you know the people that passed away during this all of these what happened, and and for the families that are, that are still grieving over the loved ones that they lost on this day, to to to. Try to make that event coincide with anything outside of life. It has no 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 uh, no relationship because you're talking about this event and you you're putting it in the same lines of a football team, you know, being a team and playing together, and it has no bearing on what those people went through. And it's still the grieving families of that day, and you try to relate it to football. It was a bad, it was a bad choice. It was a bad decision by him, and I don't even understand how he could reference this to for for anything because it, it was a, a tragic moment in, in 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 history. But to a game that we play. And I remember canceling that week of football and, you know, how emotional that 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 next week was when we stood on the sideline and all those flames poop, like flew over the stadium. Like we we were so we were so far removed from it. And you would look up on that. You, you were standing on that sideline during the Star Spangled Banner and grown men as we were that young kid. Like everybody had tears in their eyes. Because of how emotional uh, 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 for it was for us to honor everything that had happened during that event, and you want to use that those, those terrorists and everything that happened to bring your team together, it has no relationship to anything sport related other than what that day meant for everybody. In this country, he so how he you made think a it should be handled? He it happened in 2019. How you guys think it should be handled? I mean, exactly. It happened years ago, and he he made a mistake trying to. It doesn't make John an analogy. Gruden got in trouble. John Gruden got like, in trouble for stuff that happened years before. Yeah, but this but is that, this, this is this, this is totally we're talking this about is email. completely different situation. <laughs> What Gruden did, well, it was completely different. Like, Sean McDermott made a mistake. He tried to give an analogy of terrorists and their teamwork and football and their teamwork. There's no comparison with that. You, you can't do that. The fact that this happened in 2019 and we're in 2023 and we're just now hearing about this, somebody is now wanting to see Sean McDermott fired or something. 
Because why is this just now coming out? This happened years ago. Hey, why? It may, a, it may be a disgruntled pair that, that he may have cut. It, it, it could be a coach. It could be a player. Like, this happened in 2019. You don't mean to tell me there's been it players that's been cut. It doesn't matter when it happened, TJ. No, my whole point is. My if it happened is, yesterday or if it happened no, my four whole or five point years is, ago, if there's somebody no relevance. is bringing this up now, the question is why would they bring this up? Why would they bring this up now? It was a bad analogy. Very simple. But this happened so, so, you're, so, so you're many saying, years ago. So you're saying that since it happened in 2019, it doesn't really matter. No, what I'm saying is if it happened in 2019, why are we just now hearing about it if many people felt? Because we know us, why, but it doesn't matter when it happens. It, it, yeah, it does matter when it happens because somebody seems like they have an axe to grind now with McDermott. That's why it matters. Well, he's not but going to do away with it, it, it the fact says, that he said what he said. No, though. right. No he's not going to be fired doesn't. because of it. Who, who said it uh, eliminates the fact that he's y'all the ones trying to put those words in my mouth. I never said that. I'm not, I'm not putting no, that's what you, in your no, mouth. No, 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 no. Pause, my that's what you I'm guys are saying. insinuating. No, no I'm my not. whole point is whoever leaked this to the media, which is Tyler Dunn because he's the one that broke the story. What was your incentive to do this? Right. Why? Right. That's all to I'm get him saying. Up out of there. You, know, you know what? We had this conversation. Out of there. We had this conversation earlier this week. We had this conversation earlier. Man, this we week. ain't got a break. We gonna keep talking. Yeah. We had this conversation earlier this week about you know Aaron Rodgers on the on the McAfee show, and the whole thing about uh, if Zach Wilson is asked to play, he said that he wouldn't play. And then he goes and says, listen, this is an organizational problem. Like somebody And that leaking came in, from some, some, somebody's, somebody's leaking was information. Somebody's trying to assassinate Zach Wilson's character. Somebody's that leaking came information. from somewhere. It's an organizational problem. Yes. It's not an organizational problem. It's Aaron Rodgers' problem. Because everywhere he goes, all of these things are, getting re- are happening. But what I'm getting back to is with everything that happened within a team meeting or in a locker room, like it stayed in-house. Man, you got so, certain players, Plex. You and I both know this. All three of us, they going to talk. You got certain coaches, they going to talk. They going to talk. You got certain people on the team, whether it's coaches or players, they are going to talk. Yeah, they going to run their mouth. And, and so the comparison was uncalled for. Like, to me, I don't even know how you correlate the two. But There is no correlation. Let's talk about wow. this when it was first said as opposed to so many years later. Let, let's talk about it then. Why now? Oh, because Buffalo's not playing up to their expectations. Why now? And so you I know, other the conclusion uh, is it happened. Somebody wants him out and he ain't going nowhere and it was shady for who did it. That's the conclusion. But I think it was a big deal, but I, I, I would say is that is that a fair conclusion? I believe that's a fair conclusion, but I believe, yes, is he going anywhere? No. Oh, next year, next year his seat. Uh, he gon' he he gonna be living <laughs> in the desert next year. That's how hot his seat gonna be. Welcome back, welcome back into Up on Game. We're live from the Tyrac dot com studio. It's Levar Arrington. It's TJ Hushmanzada. It's Plexico Burris. Shortly after the show, our podcast will be going up. So if you miss any of today's show. Don't worry about it. Be sure to check out the podcast. All right, just search up on game wherever it is you get your podcast from and be sure to also follow, rate, and review the podcast. All right, again, just search up on game wherever it is that you get your podcast and you'll see this show posted right after we get off the air. So appreciate you guys supporting. 